The reason we need to eat is to supply our body with energy. The obesity crisis proves there is a disparity between what we eat and what we need. And there is always a focus on how much we eat and what we eat. But what about the way our body spends the energy? Actually understanding our body's energy expenditure puts it all into place. The energy we need each day is called the Total Daily Energy Expenditure, or TDEE. And it is determined by three components. These are the basal metabolic rate, the energy cost of physical activity, and diet-induced thermogenesis. To see how these relate, we'll follow Joe and Anna, the average man and woman from the USA. The basal metabolic rate, or BMR, is the energy expended by an organism when it is at complete rest. Complete rest is when there is no physical activity or digestion going on. It can be determined by measuring the heat production of an individual when he or she is at complete muscular repose. And when enough time has passed after the last meal, the meal must be digested and fully absorbed, which is after a time of 12 to 14 hours. Now this state is also called the post-absorptive state. Another way to determine your BMR is to use the Harris-Benedict equation, which depends on height, weight, age, and sex. Using this equation, we obtain for Joe 1,855 calories, and for Anna, we obtain 1,484 calories. The second category is physical activity. It contains everything from walking to the supermarket to running a marathon. The amount of energy burned is highly dependent on the length and intensity of the workout. Someone's size also matters because a rock climber of 80 kilograms will have to spend more energy than a 50 kilogram climber when they climb the same rock. Now let's assume Joe and Anna both run for half an hour three times a week per day. This amounts to 193 calories for Joe and 168 calories for Anna. And the last category is diet-induced thermogenesis. It is the smallest component of daily energy expenditure. It is the increase above basal metabolic rate due to ingestion of a meal. It is expressed as a percentage of the energy content of that meal. Usual values are between 5 and 9% of the total calories of the food, and the exact amount depends mostly on the macronutrient composition. Assuming a DIT of 7% for Joe and Anna, we can determine the total required daily energy by multiplying with 1.07. So for Joe, we had 1855 from BMR and 193 from physical activity. Combined with DIT, this becomes 2,191 calories per day. For Anna, we had 1484 from BMR, 168 from physical activity, and with DIT, this becomes 1767 calories per day. Now that Joe and Anna know the amount of energy they use per day, they also know roughly what they should eat each day. While they are supposed to be the average man or woman from the USA, everybody is different. You shouldn't just copy these values for yourself. As an example, Icelandic strongman Haftar Thor Björnsson, famous for his role in Game of Thrones as Gregor the Mountain Clegane, needs 10,000 calories per day just to maintain his physique. Now like, comment and subscribe to Food Lab Science. Other ways to show your support and the sources for this video are in the description.